Hi all the signs of the zodiac, I'm Pam and welcome to your mid-month psychic tarot update for June 2016. This month I pulled two cards for you using the Aquarian Tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings, and to get a reading with details pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign, because some months they will definitely resonate more for you than your sun sign will. If you would like to get a continuation of this reading where I look into my crystal for you to get messages from my spirit guides, for June of 2016, please click on the link below in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for June 2016 crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac for download and purchase. You can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com and clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page 6. And under the heading of June 2016 crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac, you will see all the signs listed there. You just click on your sign. That's the link to get you to the video on Vimeo. So all that being said, now on to the mid-month psychic tarot update. And the first sign I'm doing the reading for is Aries. And the first card you have here, Aries, is the Empress. And the Empress is a card to me that symbolizes a maternal figure that's crossed over to the other side that's helping you, guiding you, watching you, protecting you. Uh, this could be your mother, your great-grandmother, your grandmother, your stepmother, or someone that was like a mother figure to you. This card can also symbolize a birth of a project, plan, or idea. It can also symbolize a birth of a new business or a child, birth of a child. I do feel that you're coming to a time of closure because I'm picking up closures and endings, but it's going to open up a door to new beginnings and new things happening. I do feel that you may have had some slight mishaps or uh, bumps in the road, uh, like I'm hearing slight mishaps or troubles along the way, but my guides are saying these are just bumps in the road. I feel that you've learned a lot of things in the past uh, several months. For some of you, it's two years. So for some of you, it's been seven months. And I feel that some of you are going to take some of these lessons you've learned and write something about it. It could be a blog, a newspaper article, a magazine article, a website article, like I said, or a blog, or it could even be you're going to write a book for some of you. I feel you Aries have to show some real strength and determination right now to push things forward, push things forward in your life, have determination, strength, and fortitude to push things forward. And I also hear if you're not happy with the way some events or things that have played out, it's time to think about them and review them and to think about what you could have done differently. Not focusing on the other person or the other people in the situation or another person in the circumstance uh, and what they could have or should have done differently. I hear you need to focus on how you could have handled things differently. And maybe you would have had uh, some, maybe not different outcomes, but different feelings about the outcomes. And I do hear everything happens for a reason. So whatever trials and tribulations or bumps in the road that you've had to go through, it was part of your soul's journey and your soul's lesson. So it's not really a mistake. So the next card you have here, Aries, is the moon. And the moon is another major arcana card. You have two major arcana cards here. And the moon is a card to me that symbolizes secrecy and deception in romance. It can also just mean secrets by itself, romance by itself. It can also mean heightened psychic ability and heightened intuition. You know, I do feel that you've had some challenges with people and I get uprisings from people, and I get a lot of pull, 
push and pull back and forth kind of like a jerky kind of motion of somebody or people that want to be in your life they don't want to be in your life they want to be in your life they don't want to be in your life this could be friends family loved ones spouses girlfriends boyfriends it could be anybody and it, it doesn't just have to be one person but I'm hearing that you're growing quite weary and tired of it like I don't feel you have the patience for that anymore you're you're tired of this of that kind of energy coming at you from anyone I do feel that you've had some people that have been deceptive with you I do feel that and I also pick up the words jealousy is like really heightened you know and enhanced so maybe you're the one feeling jealous but maybe it's somebody else you were dealing with this feeling jealous it can go either way here because it is a general reading but I do feel somebody has been deceptive of to you and in some regard and I feel that for some reason jealousy is linked to this so either you felt jealous or they were jealous I just don't know you know I do feel that a lot of times you're eager to please and you really like to see everybody happy but I feel sometimes this actually ends up being a detriment to you and I'm not saying don't try to please people and don't try to make people happy but the guides are bringing it up so I feel that maybe you do that too much or you step over some kind of bounds where you yeah like going too far with it it's like trying to please people too much may have backfired on you recently or it could have been a, something that's happened all along and all along for you or it could be something that happened in the past but they are bringing it up that that can be it can have backfired on you and have been a detriment to you so i hope those messages helped you now on to taurus and the first card you have of the two cards, Taurus, is the Hanged Man. And the Hanged Man is a major arcana card. And that means it holds more weight than some of the minor cards. It's about bigger themes in your life. And the Hanged Man is a card symbolizes being in a state of limbo. This, to me, indicates you're kind of in a suspended state of animation. You're not moving forward. You're not moving backward. Uh, it's uh, being suspended in limbo you can also feel frustrated during this time and when the hangman shows up it's also time to draw very strongly from your own psychic ability and your own intuition I feel that some of you Tauruses are going round and round and round with somebody from your past that is kind of hurting you now this could be somebody you related to it could be somebody that you you know is a friend a family member it could even be uh, like a past loved one a lover like a past ex I do feel that you have looked at this relationship from the inside outside all the way around it and I also feel this relationship has turned you inside out I do feel that you want there to be some kind of settlement here for some of you this could be a divorce settlement that you're looking to get or you just want this situation settled and to be done and over with it can can be indicating that you know it's funny they're saying speculative ventures should be avoided right now and stick with the tried and true methods and the tried and true ways right now that doesn't mean don't take risks ever or don't take any chances ever but right now this is a mid-month of June reading I would say if any speculative ventures pop up you should just stick to the tried and true ways of doing things don't don't do anything risky right now in the middle of June I do feel that some of you may feel a little isolated and alone and maybe feeling a little bit cut off from society this could be by your own doing uh, or it could be circumstances that just forced you into that position now that's not going to be the case for all of you um, but I do feel for some of you you're going through a feeling of being cut off from society and, and uh, some feelings of isolation and aloneness 
So the next card you have here for this mid-month is the Knight of Pentacles. So this very well could be you. Because the Knight of Pentacles is a card to me that would symbolize an Earth sign male. This would be either a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo, Sun sign, Rising sign, or Moon sign. Um, it, don't be thrown that it's a Knight and that it's a male card because females can come up as Knights. I do hear you've got some wanderlust growing and I'm getting a little bit of impatience. So some of you might be getting impatient about something. Now wanderlust to me means you want to see see the sights and and you know meet new people and get interacting with new partners. So you may be impatient because maybe that's just not happening in your life because they did link those two statements together. I do feel there's some situation that you're looking at, like everybody in the situation behaved badly, including yourself. I feel like you feel that you said or did some inappropriate things or behaviors, uh, but I see you looking around that you feel everybody in a particular, you know, like this would have been a tenuous situation where people said, the wrong things or did the or did the wrong things but you're including yourself in that too Taurus it's not just you pointing the finger at somebody else I do feel some of you really are yearning and longing to travel and that you want to get out of this proverbial box that you feel like you're in again I go back to those Tauruses that feel like you're having some kind of isolation I do pick that up again so for some of you that could be the reason that you feel that way. You may correspond with someone from afar, someone from a distance, and then you may go visit them. Now, you could meet them on the internet. This could be through online dating. It could be through social media, Facebook, or something else. But it could also be, uh, you know, maybe somebody you knew a long time ago and you're making a reconnection with them. I, I feel like there's somebody at a distance, you're going to be like almost like pen pals or email pals or IM chat pals or Skype friends. And then I feel that you may actually take a trip to go visit them. And I don't feel that they're close to you. I feel that they're at a distance. So... I hope those messages helped you, Taurus. You have to see how it plays out. So now on to the sign of Gemini. And the first card you have here of the two, Gemini, is the world, another major arcana card. They're coming up a lot for the signs, and that means they hold more weight and uh, are about bigger life themes. And the world is a card that symbolizes control. You're gaining more control. The planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you are helping to conspire and give you more control. I do feel like you're getting along really well with others. And I do see you starting to view yourself in a new light. Now, this could be because maybe you've lost weight or maybe you've changed your hairstyle or maybe you're just presenting yourself in a different way than you normally do maybe you're wearing different clothing I don't know it could be a combination maybe you had plastic surgery even I just see you seeing yourself in a whole new light and uh, your mood seems elevated to me I feel like you're feeling more upbeat more positive and Putting yourself out there more, taking more risks emotionally, I feel. I do feel that some of you Geminis are getting some kind of promotion at work or uh, your job is changing at work possibly. And if neither of those are occurring, it could be just a, a, you know, like a raise happening. You might not be getting a promotion and a raise, but you might just be getting a raise at your current position. That is is uh, coming up they could even give you additional health insurance or you know some other kind of perks or benefits that would be like a, a boost or a raise in a in a sense some of you Gemini's may find yourself having to take care of a loved one this could be an elderly relative to you a mother a father it could be a sibling to you or if you have children uh, I, that maybe someone isn't well because I do see you wanting to give them extra care or maybe you're in the profession of taking care of 
you know, people in hospice or maybe you work in a hospital or taking care of people that are not well in some other fashion. But that is also coming up here for some of you Geminis through the card of the world. So the second card you have of the two is the five of swords. And the five of swords is a card to me that symbolizes standing your ground. This is drawing a line in the sand, standing up against your detractors. Um, it's a, you know, it's kind of a combative card, but it's really a standing up for yourself card. I do feel that working with different groups of people in your job situation, if you're working Gemini, can be quite frustrating to you. And I also feel if you're non-working Gemini, if you're taking care of any elderly family members or having to deal with them, even if they're not sick, but just like be there to help them out or you and your siblings are getting together and dealing with somebody elderly in the family, that it's aggravating. Not you necessarily being aggravated with your the person that's not well. I feel like siblings or other family members circling around this story that makes you feel like annoyed or like aggravated or frustrated that comes up here through the five of swords. I do feel that you're learning some of your lessons the hard way, Gemini, because I feel that some family members or somebody is using manipulative tactics on you. So be careful and cautious of that because I do pick it up. Uh, and, you know, I feel you're incredibly bright and intuitive and intellectual so it's kind of funny, not haha -ha funny, but kind of interesting that the manipulation tactic would work with you. I find that surprising, but I feel for some of you, you need to be on guard about it. Uh, so just watch what's going on. And if you start, to, you know, this may be a message for you to like pay attention because I do feel you've got somebody kind of manipulating funny that the card of control came up because through this card I'm getting somebody is trying to maneuver you or manipulate you with their actions and things that they're saying but it may not look like that outwardly at first it may look like they're doing something else so just uh, scrutinize the people around you that are causing you any uh, disturbance and look to see, step back and think, are they manipulating me? Because I feel like they are. And for some of you, I actually feel like this is a sibling or some kind of family member that's doing it uh, to you. So just be on your guard and be aware of that, Gemini. So now on to Cancer. And the first card that you have that shows up here today, Cancer, is the star. Another major arcana card, which indicates stronger themes in your life. Uh, the star is a card to me that would symbolize um, spiritual blessings. This is, you know, the divine source hearing your wishes and prayers and giving you some type of spiritual blessing. I do hear that some things are starting to unravel. Piece by piece, things are starting to fall apart. It doesn't mean a situation is falling apart totally negatively. This could be things that were wound too tight or maybe some things that you wanted to know the truth about because I get unraveling and things like something coming out, something else coming out, something else coming out, something else coming out. So this could be things getting revealed to you. I do feel that you may have been cut off from some kind of family circle that you've been in or some group or a uh, situation. You could have been cut off from something. And I feel that there's going to be a change about that. I do feel if you've been in a situation where people have been at cross purposes with each other um, and uh, like fighting or not getting along or bickering or gossiping or any of that circumstance, those kind of activities, I'm hearing they need to stop. I do hear there's going to be a judgment that gets brought down, a final judgment at last. 
Now, for some of you, this is going to involve a court case. Uh, but it doesn't have to be an instance that went to court. I just feel whatever this kind of uh, disruptive situation that's been going on, it get there's some kind of judgment, final judgment that comes down about it that really may pu end up putting a stop to any of this infighting or bickering or any of that kind of behavior going on. It's time to take the realistic approach to solving problems and matters. They say don't take the way out approach. That's not going to work, at least not right now. They're saying take the practical approach to solving problems, any troubles at the moment. So the next card you have here of the two is Strength, another major arcana card. And this card symbolizes having internal strength, courage over adversity. It can also indicate spiritual power over the material world. I hear you're thinking, everybody's got their own agenda and I've got mine. And I feel you're fed up. I feel you fed up with people telling you what you should do, what you shouldn't do, or carping at you about different decisions you've made or choices that you've made in the past or things that you've done. I, I get like you're like fed up and you don't want to hear it. I, I feel you have some people that are passing judgment at you about something or carping at you about something you've done. And I feel that you're fed up with it. I do feel that some of you are going to get some kind of check coming to you in the mail. It could be a royalty check from something that you did. Um, I kind of feel like you're surprised about it a little bit. Not Maybe not totally, but I do get some of you feeling like, whoa, look at that, because I get you getting a check in the mail. I do feel that you, it's time to slow down and take a rest and relaxation time period because I hear too much on the go, too much always doing something, too much on, on the go. And I do feel for many of you cancers, this is actually running you ragged and that you need to take some kind of step back, slow down and relax because I actually feel like it's not good for you. It's not good for your health. I'm picking up stresses in different parts of your body. I'm picking up stress in your hands and feet and ankles. And I'm also picking up like uh, lungs and pulmonary issues. So, but I feel like it's stress. I feel like it's because of stress, never sitting still, too much doing stuff. So if you can take a vacation or slow down a little bit or take some kind of pause, I do feel like that would be beneficial for you in this mid-month of June 2016, Cancer. So now on to the sign of Leo. And the first card you have here today, Leo, is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups to me is a card that symbolizes analyzing, worrying, pulling at straws, going within, pulling things apart, overanalyzing it at times. And God is handing you blessings or signs, but you may not be paying attention to them because you could be worrying or ruminating or looking back on the past uh, or analyzing things too much. I do feel that some of you may experience someone that wants to try to steal your thunder, and I feel that you're going to be quite angry about that and you're going to let them have it. I do feel that some of you, Leos, may be blasting somebody that comes in and tries to take credit for your work or steal your thunder in some way, and I feel like you're going to let them have it. I feel that a lot of you, Leos, feel used and abused by people, and I feel that you feel that you're always giving, 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 and that you don't really receive back. And I feel that you don't give to receive. I don't feel that's your motivation, but I feel like it's starting to dawn on you that you're always giving and you're not finding yourself receiving that much. And I do feel it's making you feel down or a little uncomfortable about that. You're, you're noticing it, let's put it that way. I do feel that you're going to get something that's going to come at you that's going to be offered to you out of the blue. And I feel that this is going to be like 
a real coup for you. Like it, it boosts up your ego. I feel like this is going to be a boost maybe even to your finances or to your status. Um, I feel for a lot of you uh, Leos that everything's going to be coming up roses for you guys in July. They're, they're talking about that. So you may get, you know, I don't know if it's going to occur while we're in June. But I do feel that you're going to feel pretty good about your circumstances going on around you in July. I do feel that some of you Leos have been involved in or around a lot of gossip, backstabbing, backbiting, fighting going on around you. And I feel like this is either family first or work. So, and I feel like you're totally... Uh, dragged down by it and frustrated by it. Uh, I do feel a lot of drama has been created by that. So hope that can change for you soon there, Leo. The next card you have is the Eight of Cups, which is interesting because it's a card that means you're turning away from what's not working for you anymore, emotionally speaking. So maybe you're turning away, going to turn away from that situation. I do feel... There's been some quarreling going on among, I still say it's family first. That comes up the strongest. Um, and I feel like you've been kind of pushed into the middle. And if you haven't been pushed in the middle, you've been pushed into a position I feel that you just don't like. That comes up here. I feel that you are going to separate yourself from this and stop listening to it and stop communicating with some people. I don't mean forever. I don't feel like it's a forever situation. But honestly, Leo, I feel some of you are going to be like, you know what, I can't deal with this right now. This is making me feel overwhelmed. It's too much. I don't want to deal with it. So you may be saying, I got to I got to take a break from all of you. I, I do get that sense. I also feel that some of you Leos are going to uh, will agree with this that when you say things your opinion or anything you're interjecting to try to be helpful that it seems to be backfiring on you and coming back to haunt you. I do I do pick that up for some of you. I do feel there's like jealousy, I feel some greed going on. I feel some people feel like, "Oh, they have more than me or they got more than me or they have more money than me or God, because I get like jealousy, greed, backbiting, all that kind of energy. And I'm not saying you're doing it, Leo. I see it going on around you or something you're having to contend with or deal with. But I truly, truly feel like you are going to uh, take a step away from it and not be dealing with it as much or trying to trying your best to not get caught in the web of what's going on here. I feel some of you Leos may broaden your horizons by taking some kind of trip with a group of friends. It could be a group of family, but, and I feel like you're going to do something of interest. So it's not, I don't feel like it's just a trip to get away. Although some of you, it may be that, but I feel some of you are doing something you know, that may have something educational, spiritual, or interesting to you and whoever these people are you're going with, uh, going on around where you're going. So just think on that, Leo. Now on to Virgo. And the first of the two cards you have here, Virgo, is the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is a card to me that symbolizes an earth sign male. This could either be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. It could also be a female, even though it's a knight. This card could be you, Virgo, because it is an earth sign. I feel some of you Virgos may be taking some money out of savings or just, you know, putting it on credit. Some expensive purchase I do pick that up like buying something expensive for some of you this could be a new car a new SUV a new car I that kind of thing comes up here 
I do feel that you may feel like your expenses are going wild right now. So even though I do pick up that you're going to purchase something new, like a new car or something expensive, I also feel you have expenses that are going on or circling around you in other ways. Like you could be sending your kids to college and that's an expense. It could be that you have children that are, you know, young adults and maybe they're buying their first home and they are hitting you up for a loan or you're giving them some money or you're helping them out if they're in some kind of financial difficulty or trouble. Because I do see like wild financial things going on around you. But it's not that I feel like it's out of your control completely. I just feel like it's money going out of your pocket to spend for things, but it's things that have value and worth to them. I don't feel it's like, you know, just frivolously tossing your money around or throwing it away. I'm not picking that up at all, but you may be feeling like in the middle of June or even at the end of the month of June, like, wow, my finances are going wild. Um, I don't feel it's going to put you into financial destitution. That's not the feeling I'm getting here. I do feel that some of you Virgos are listening to everybody's stories. This one has a problem. That one has a problem. This one is upset about something. That one is upset about something. And I feel they all may be telling you their tales of woe. You may some, see some real seesaw of behavior between someone you're close to where they're upset and unhappy one minute and then the other minute they may feel like they're related and joyful and happy and you may be like wait a minute I just thought you know yesterday you were upset and you know and now today you're all elated and happy so I do feel you're going to start taking some of these woe be gone complaints with a grain of salt I'm not saying they're not real but you're going to see some, I feel like, seesaws of people's emotions around you. People that would be very close to you, either, you know, your partner or your children or your siblings, somebody you see a lot, or even co-workers. Um, here you have the Knight of Rods as your second card, and the Knight of Rods, to me, is a card that symbolizes a fire sign male this could either be a leo a sagittarius or an aries sun sign rising sign or moon sign it can also be a female even though it's a knight i do feel there might be a long-standing rift between somebody here between you and this knight of rods where it's been you know and i feel that you want it to stop and it, i get this back and forth push and pull uh kind of relationship and I, I feel like you want it to stop now for some of you this is not a love partner for some of you this is just somebody that you're close to it could it could be love it could be already a spouse or a or a boyfriend or girlfriend that you've been with for a very long time it can be that but it could also be family members too where I get that you want it to stop but there's definitely push and pull back and forth in this uh, situation, in this relationship, and I feel like you're fed up with it and you want it to stop. I feel that there's a bickering that goes on between you and this Knight of Rods. I feel this Knight of Rods is very determined. They're determined to get what they want. I do feel they have a very strong will. And I feel that you may find that this Knight of Rods, maybe not right now, maybe this happened in the past, or it could be still happening now, feels more past to me what I'm going to say here, that they've been very demanding of you. Like, I want this. I want that. Give me money. Take me here. I want to go there. No, I'm not going to do that. I want you to give me this or that. Like, I get like a demanding uh, kind of attitude or actions coming from them towards you. And I do feel, for the most part, you've complied quite a bit. So um, I do feel there's going to be some kind of rest or reprieve from this or it gets back down. So I feel like there's going to be some improvement with that situation. So I hope that helped you, Virgo. Now on to Libra. And the first card you have here today, Libra, is the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is a card to me that symbolizes being trapped in an emotional prison 
or it can be feeling stuck or trapped in a situation and there's unknown factors and unknown forces going on around you or there could be secrets uh, happening here as well. I do feel that you don't like some kind of situation that you're in and I feel that you are feeling a bit backed into a corner. I feel like you're, you're harnessing and gathering all of your strengths and energies, but I feel like you keep feeling like you're hitting a brick wall. Like every time you try to make some kind of headway or move forward, you're hitting like some kind of wall. You may have to take something to court or up for mediation because I, I picked that up for some of you. So this could be a, a, like, you know, not necessarily going to court all the way, but you may have to get a mediator involved in some kind of process that you could be going through here. I do feel though that you're getting a lot of sudden flashes of insight, inspiration, and intuition right now. I feel like you're going to wake up and, and from sleep and be like, know the answers to problems or have precognitive dreams or just wake up with a burst of a flash of insight that helps you problem solve or make some breakthroughs in some situations that you could be dealing with. So I do feel like your spirit guides are going to be working through you with your sleep and you're going to be waking up and having a lot of brilliance. I do feel some of you Libras feel right now about some circumstance going on in your life for some of you that you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't because they do say you're in a bit of a or you're going to feel like you're in a bit of a catch-22 kind of situation and I do feel like a little bit of you feeling like you're a scapegoat like why do I have to take it on the chin for everybody why am I the one that always has to take the brunt of it. I do feel like that a little bit for you Libras. So the second card you have is a good one. You have two of rods and this is a card that symbolizes partnership. To me this is partnership in business. It can be partnership in romance. It can also indicate somebody that you are in a relationship with or that you're dealing with may not be able to give you all the time and attention and focus you need because they may be <clears throat> very distracted or focused on something else. You know, I do feel that you are coming to a time of ending of a cycle, a cycle of closure, but I do feel that you are going to start to look back at your past and recognize that you've been in a cyclical situation where some mistakes have been made over and over again. Uh, or, you know, like karma has repeated itself, which if you don't learn the lesson or get the message or get something straightened out the first time, it can repeat itself. And it's, it's funny, uh, karma is funny and tricky that way. A lot of times it doesn't look like it's the same situation or like the same relationship all over again until you're already in it. And then you can see, oh my gosh, I feel like this is the same thing happening all again but it didn't look like that in the first place. So uh, I do feel that you there is some realization on your part that when you recognize this, that that will then help you to break any cycles that you've been in. I do feel some of you Libras are going to have some accumulation of wealth or abundance building up in your bank accounts. So I do feel even for all your troubles or like any kind of, you know, disturbances going on in your life, I do feel your finances really uh, increasing. Some of you, I feel, are going to get a new, you're going to be in the right juxtaposition to get offered some kind of uh, new position at work or some new situation to arise in your life. It's like the almost like the planets are in alignment for you or turning just at the right place at the right time for some beneficial things to come to you. So you've got like a back and forth one here in the middle of June. I see some really, uh, you know, kind of blocked, stuck um, feelings and circumstances going on, but I also see some benefits, bonuses, uh, and uh, blessings 
coming to you, especially in regard to finances. So I hope that was of help to you, Libra. Now on to Scorpio. And the first card you have here today, Scorpio, for the middle of June 2016, you have the Eight of Rods. And that card symbolizes to me news coming to you swiftly or change. It could be swift to change or it can also indicate travel. I do feel that you're going to receive some insights and some kind of information that's going to come to you from any of you out of the blue. And I feel this out of the blue feels to me like next month for you. So I really feel that that would, if it doesn't, if you don't see it occurring in June, I feel it's very likely to happen around the middle of the month of July. It's some kind of happy news. I do feel like you're going to have, hap it's happy news, and I feel like you're, it's going to be like a happy occasion for you. Like you're going to feel like you want to get up and dance. <laughs> so it is something positive. I do feel like you've got some things that are really starting to fall in place for you. I, I feel like the pieces of the puzzle are all starting to come together and fall into place for you. Finally, uh, Scorpio, in a, I feel in a positive way. Some of you may be getting outside of your comfort zone a little bit and could be going on some kind of long distance travel with either family or friends or both combined. Um, I do see that for some of you. I, I don't know what the news is that you're going to be uh, getting. I, I really, because it could be so many different things. There's so many of you Scorpios that could be watching this. But I do also want to add here, they're telling me you're going to feel relieved also. Not only happy, it's not only just happy news, it's something that you're going to feel relieved about as well. Be sure to have some of that apple cider vinegar with the mother in it that I've talked about before in other videos. Uh, because I do feel some of you are going to have some allergies or sinus congestion or sinus pressure. And if you drink uh, three tablespoons or, or, I'm sorry, three teaspoons of that in an eight ounce glass of water twice a day, especially in the morning before you eat anything, that can help clear that out. Because they are talking about you having sinus pressure or sinus infection or allergies in June. So be wary of that, Scorpio. The next card you have is the Ace of Pentacles, which is an awesome card. This is God giving you the uh, divine blessings of financial stability and financial abundance. I do feel that some of you have some kind of breakthrough happening in regard to money. Some of you may be actually receiving some money through an inheritance because I do pick that up for some of you but I do get some kind of financial breakthrough I also get money coming to you through family so if it's not through an inheritance it could be that somebody in your family just wants to give you money you know maybe your parents are getting elderly and they don't want to just leave everything to people in their will maybe they just want to give you some of that money now but I do feel some of you have some kind of um, breakthrough with money I do feel that some of you Scorpios are going to be testing the waters in a new employment opportunity. Either you're starting a new job and seeing how it feels to you, or you are testing the waters where you're starting to get resumes out there and seeing how you could make out financially speaking, you know, and with getting a new, getting new employment. It's testing the waters with new employment, whether you're starting it or starting to look for it is how it's coming up here. I really feel now, <laughs> I know this is June, but I really feel that July is going to be a really positive, uplifting feeling kind of month for many of you Scorpios. Marriage comes up here. Um, so I feel that some of you may be getting engaged or you may be meeting the person that you will be getting engaged or married to in the future or your marriage is being highlighted here if you're already married. Like a settling of any kind of marital issues or disputes comes up. So if you've been across purposes with your marriage partner, I feel it gets worked out and settled 
or it could be a divorce settlement. You could be settling it like this is done. It's settled. It could be that. But it really does come up here. Marriage is being mentioned. So if you're not married, I feel that's indicating that some marriage uh, partner is going to show up. I do feel some of you Scorpios may be feeling like you're reinventing yourself or also reinventing something going on in your life. It, like reinventing your life comes up here as well. So I hope those messages helped you. Now on to Sagittarius. And the first card you have that shows up here, Sagittarius, is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups to me is a card that symbolizes um, this is sadness, loss, and regret. It could also indicate you having dealings with someone that has a problem with alcohol. Or you could have the problem with alcohol, but it is a card of sadness, loss, and regret. But not all hope is lost because there's still two cards that are not tipped over in the card. I do feel that you want to feel like your feet are planted on firm, solid ground. I do not feel like you want, and like they're in bedrock. That's what I'm hearing. I do not feel that, I mean, I do feel that you do not want to feel like you are floating around aimlessly. I feel that you want to feel tethered down. Like I want to feel sturdy, stable. I also see you very concerned that you don't want the feeling of like anybody making a fool out of you or making a joke. Like you don't want to be any like you don't want anybody to be making a monkey out of you. I also feel that too, Sagittarius. I do feel that you need a little bit of a break from reality. I do feel that some of you are looking at things in your life and feeling like I need some time to myself to sort things out. I also pick up that you feel like when you say things are going to stop, they're going to stop. Like you, I, I don't know, maybe all signs can be this way, but I feel like when you say something's done or you're putting the brakes on, uh, you put those brakes on, there's no moving you. I feel that you can be quite uh, steadfast in your resolve. And I hear yourself saying, I don't like it. I don't want to become that. Or I don't like what I've become. If you feel like you're becoming like uh, harping, like you have to harp on things to get people to do what they need to do, or you like shrill over something, or like I feel that you feel that someone or some circumstance going on in your life is making you behave in a manner that you don't like to see in you happening. So I see you focusing on that and you're like, you know what, time, time, stop. And I need to like reflect and review on some things. I see you doing that kind of action here. I do feel you're one of the signs that is building up money and wealth in your bank account. That's come up for a few of the signs in this mid-month of June. You're also getting that. I see you really focusing on and feeling like you don't want to be left hanging. You don't want to be left dangling, hanging, or left out in the cold. And I feel like you feel like either a person or a situation is doing that to you. And I get you don't want to be left hanging, dangling, none of that. That comes up here. The next card you have is a Major Arcana card. You have the Magician. And when Major Arcana cards show up to me, that shows that this is representing stronger themes in your life. And the Magician is the card of the Manifestor. What you think about in your mind and what is in the uh, ethereal plane, you bring into physical reality. I do feel like many of you Sagittarians in June are going to be troubleshooting things left and right. Like I'm handling that task. I'm handling this task. I'm taking care of this. I'm dealing with that. I'm doing this, then that, then this, then that. And I, so I feel like you're almost like the sheriff in town. <laughs> you're the sheriff in your own town, Sagittarius. I feel like you're troubleshooting things with your six shooter at your hip. You know, like this problem, psh, that problem, psh, I, I do see you, uh, or you could say putting out fires. That's another <coughs> way of looking at it. I do feel that you may be working with someone, for some of you that are working, that are 
trying to get you to reach some higher level of attainment in a position, possibly working with the government, possibly working in politics, or just reach, or if that doesn't make sense to you, reaching some kind of higher attainment in a job you work at or a career or a higher position. Um, but I feel like there's somebody inspiring you or encouraging you that feels kind of like a mentor. It could be a boss. It could be somebody that you just work with or that you know through uh, work connections that I feel is like trying to inspire you. And I don't even know that they're trying to. I just feel like they are inspiring you. You are being inspired by them. And I do feel that they want you to succeed. This is somebody that has your, uh, they care about you and they have your, your best interests at heart. I do feel any situations in your life, whether they be relationships or jobs or any kind of anything that's going on in your life that you feel like is stop, start, stop, start, off, on, off, on, has to go. I feel that you don't want to deal with any of that kind of energy, whether it be circumstantial energy, circumstances, or uh, people creating that. So that comes up here through the Magician card. So I hope that helped you, Sagittarius. Now on to Capricorn. And the first of the two cards you got, Capricorn, is the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups to me is a card that symbolizes parties, gatherings, and celebrations. This could indicate three sisters, three friends. It could also indicate a, celebra a celebratory conclusion to something happening in your life. Now, if it's about a party or a gathering, you could be attending the party. You could be throwing the party. Um, if it's a party, it could be, it could be that too. I do feel that some of you Capricorns are feeling tired of doing everything yourself. And I'm hearing the words excursions. So I feel that you're going to want to be taking some trips or some excursions, whether they be close by and local or whether they be at a far. I do pick up the word excursions. And I do feel that some of you Capricorns are feeling like I have too many responsibilities. I take care of too many things by myself or all myself. Uh, maybe you're not partnered with somebody and you feel like this is becoming a drag and overwhelming to you that you would like to have a partner, a spouse, a loved one um, to share your life with in whatever capacity uh, comes up here. I do feel that some of you are doing some manifesting. And I feel that some of you are thinking about, like, what do I want my dream location to be? And therefore... I want my dream job, if you're working Capricorn, to be at the dream location. I feel you may start to approach some things in your life in a different way than what you normally have. If you're somebody that really does things from point A to point B to point C, you may start skipping over some steps and thinking about, you know what, I, it's time to live life large. And why am I, if I don't really like where I'm living, I need to move and go to where I'm living or where I want to live or pick where I want to live and then see, search out and see, can I afford it? What kind of job, can I get a job there? You may start thinking about where you want to be first and then planning yourself there. It, it does come up here. Now, some of you may go, she's crazy. I'm not moving. I'm not going anywhere. Well, maybe this isn't applying to you, but I do feel that some of you Capricorns are going to start looking at, like, life's too short. Why am I spinning my wheels here? Am I really happy with what I'm doing, where I am? Because where comes up as someplace, something very strong for me, for you, in your, in your thought process in the mid-month of June 2016. <laughs> I do feel that some of you Capricorns are going to do some retail therapy in the middle of June. So you may be going out shopping and buying yourself some new clothes or something new uh, because I do get retail therapy. Um, I'm also see seeing some of you sitting in jacuzzis and hot tubs 
Maybe you're thinking of purchasing one. I don't know because you could be shopping for that. I do see that for some of you. So the next card you have here, Capricorn, is the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles to me is a card that symbolizes inheritance, money coming to you through family channels or through an inheritance. It could also be you being in a couple with someone and the two of you together as a couple generating a lot of wealth and abundance. I do feel that you are going to start focusing on some things in your life about how you want things to go. And I feel like any little piddly people that are coming up, I don't mean people are piddly, but in your situation, I feel you might start to look at like these people are just takers over here. These people over here, they just constantly annoy me with trivial things that aren't important to me and they take up a lot of my time and waste a lot of my energy. And these people over here, all they ever want to do is complain or gossip. I feel that you may find yourself, Capricorn, saying, I'm going to distance myself or cut myself off from these people or trying to deal with them as little as possible. Uh, having boundaries, strengthening your boundaries uh, comes up. I just get this really strong sense and feeling for many of you Capricorns in the middle of June you may be reviewing or thinking in your mind I feel like I want more from my life than what I'm experiencing or getting so I do see uh, some of you focusing on that in June so now on to Aquarius and the first sign you have here Aquarius is the fool and the Fool is a card to me that symbolizes starting out on a new path and a new journey with high hopes and high aspirations. But you have to be careful that your head's not too far up in the clouds because then you could get blindsided. You don't want to you know, be naive and not paying attention where you're going and then get blindsided. So it's a positive card, but it's also a card of a warning. I really feel that some of you Aquarians are getting ready to travel. I also feel that some of you Aquarians are getting ready to have some positive notoriety and or success that comes up through the fool. I do feel that you're systematically going off things in your life like check, 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 I need to do this, check, I need to do that, check, I need to do this, check, checking it off your list. And um, I do feel that many of you Aquarians may be making order out of chaos that may have been going on in your life. So I also get making order out of chaos. Some of you may, may be stepping out of your box or your com comfort zone and taking some kind of classes or making some kind of acquaintances uh, that could end up being becoming some kind of like business partner for you or could be romantic partner for you but I get stepping out of the box stepping out of your comfort zone uh, taking some classes and making some uh, new acquaintances come up comes up here I do feel that some of you Aquarians want to physically feel better so you may be doing some kind of holistic healing you could be getting Reiki or doing some kind of detox. And that doesn't mean necessarily chemical or detox or drinking anything to detox. You could just be detoxing yourself by eating clean, eating uh, better foods for you, avoiding preservatives, avoiding sugar and caffeine. Uh, but that like detoxing and wanting to cleanse comes up for many of you Aquarians in June. Now, the next card you have here is the King of Rods. And the King of Rods, to me, is a fire sign male. This would either be a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. Sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. And this could be a female because it is a general reading, so don't be thrown that it's a king because females can come up as kings. There's a lot to be said for having the ball in your court, and I do feel that many of you Aquarians really have that ball in your court. 
right now and in, in, in June. I feel like you're going to feel that way. You may be doing something to highlight your appearance in some way or change it. You could be changing your hairstyle or hair color. Uh, this could be through if you're interested in plastic surgery, it could be that. But doing something to highlight your appearance in some way. Maybe you're going to lift weights or, you know, jog or, you know, do some kind of overall health regime that's going to change your appearance. For some of you, there's somebody new that's going to come in for you. Romantically speaking, possibly uh, this person could want to get engaged to you. Maybe not right away, uh, but I do feel that's very a very strong possibility for some of you Aquarians with this King of Rods. I feel like this person has a lot of wit and determination to see things through. Like, you know, he's one of those people or she that once they put something in play or in motion, they want to complete it. I don't feel they're good about like starting something and leaving it hanging. So uh, I feel there's determination with this King of Rods. I feel like they, this King of Rods has made a lot of mistakes in the past. But I feel that they've amended them, healed them, amended them. And I feel they're quite a different person today than they were, you know, back in the day, years ago. I do feel there is something quite different about them now. You may meet this King of Rods at some kind of social event or social gathering. I do feel there's going to be a lot of conversation or talk between the two of you and then it amping it up to the next level. Now, whether this is love or whether it's business related and business partnership is going to be uh, different for all of you Aquarians. It's not going to be the same for all of you. So now on to Pisces. And the first card that you have Pisces is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups to me is a card that symbolizes wish fulfillment, all good things coming to you in an emotional sense. I feel that you're starting to see some positive things happening in your life, like things are starting to come up roses or you're experiencing some breakthroughs or positive change. I feel like you're getting the royal treatment in some regard, like, uh, people are appreciating you, people wanting to invite you to different things. You could be getting some, you know, accolades at your job. I just get, like, they, they're talking about you getting the royal treatment. I feel like you've got some good things happening here. You're getting along with other people really well. Your uh, family situations are feeling at peace and are good, settled, ha happy. I just feel like June is going to feel pretty good for you, generally speaking. I feel that you're also going to be feeling thankful in June and like you are uh, counting your blessings, feeling thankful and counting your blessings. Some of you Pisces, I feel like you, if you are working and uh, working Pisces, I feel that some project or plan comes to fruition now. Like something you've been working on, something you've been waiting to see in a job-related or work-related sense uh, happens, comes to uh, bloom for you. I feel like you're going to be quite busy. You may be carrying the torch for quite a lot of people or for quite a lot of different jobs or things going on uh, because I see you carrying papers, carrying files, and uh, maybe dealing with a lot of different areas or different departments comes up here. Uh, and when they say carrying the torch for a lot of people, I feel that was in more of a business and work related sense, not in a, I'm carrying a torch for you because I'm romantically interested in you. But that could be for some of you Pisces. Maybe you're really playing the field right now and you're carrying the torch for quite a few different people. Uh, it can also mean that. But to me, carrying the torch for a lot of people, I really felt like that was in like, I seem really busy at work 
dealing in a lot of different areas, dealing with a lot of different projects, and putting yourself on the line for a lot of things. But I feel like things are good. I'm not picking up anything negative here. And here you have the world, which is a major arcana card, which means it's about a strong theme in your life. Uh, it, it deals with stronger themes. And this is a card of control. The planets in the heavens and the spirit guides around you conspiring to help give you and bring you more control in your life. I feel like you have this sense of calm now. I feel a sense of peace and a sense of calm. I'm picking up serenity, those kind of feelings circling around you, Pisces. If you were a Pisces that was trying to get something off the ground, I feel like it finally happened. So this could be if you were trying to get a relationship off the ground or if you were trying to get a new job off the ground or you were trying to get a new business off the ground. Whatever you could try to get up and running and going off the ground, I feel like finally in June, I feel this is happening for you. I do feel that you're being seen in a very positive light. And if there was anybody that put you on the back burner, I feel like they've now put you on the front burner where the focus, attention, and the spotlight is being on you in a positive sense. Now, whether this is, this could be for many of you work related or love relationship related it can go either way here it's it's shifting back and forth to me for some of you it's about work and your job the spotlight's being on you and in for others it's in a romance sense or you know getting yourself out there to be connecting with people with you know meeting potential love partner sense it can be either one or the other and i feel like you're getting noticed, you're getting recognition, and the spotlight is happening for you in this mid-month of June and going into July. So I hope that was of help to you, Pisces. And I hope that the messages made sense for all the signs of the Zodiac and were helpful. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do appreciate that. Please be sure to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I post my Psychic Tarot readings monthly and my mid-month Psychic Tarot updates. If you would like to get a crystal reading for your sign, each of the signs out there, uh, where I get messages from my spirit guides for each of the signs for download and purchase, you can get these videos by clicking on the link below in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for the June 2016 crystal readings for each sign of the Zodiac. You can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com and going to page six on my videos page and there you will see June 2016 crystal reading for each sign of the zodiac you'll see the signs listed there on page six just click on your sign that's the link that will take you to the Vimeo video I want to thank you so much for all of your purchases and your kind emails I truly appreciate it I hope you have a great rest of your month of June all the signs of the Zodiac, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.